The title sounds pretentious, but the journey was interesting anyways, so let's share it. Last year, the intrusive thoughts finally won, and so I made it a New Year's resolution to read a thousand books in a month. That's right, it's always been the American dream to become Megamind. You sure you're not just asphyxiated? No. Watch. Nerd, bookworm, anorak, point dexter, trekkie. <laughs> you saw that coming, didn't you? Not even a little bit? Okay, it wasn't that bad, you just sound constipated now. And I was able to keep track of it all thanks to Goodreads. They have a reading challenge you can sign up for at the beginning of every year, but I didn't pledge to read a thousand books for the challenge itself, because these reminders would be living in your head rent-free. So instead, I opted for one. Some healthy skeptics out there might ask, but why though? Just to see if I could do it. Are you a masochist? No. Are you intentionally trying to fry your own brain? These questions suck. So you read. Name the first 100 digits of the square root of pi without a calculator. Bruh. To be fair, this was when a lot of activity-based places were still closed or limited due to the pandemic. So a lot of people either took advantage of this time to level up or let themselves go. Now, I wasn't about to jump into this challenge without having some sort of reading habit prior to it. That's like diving into a volcano without dipping your toes into it first. You mean cold water, right? You mean cold water, right? But like many peeps, I've been reading from elementary school days when teachers used to color code books to instill the concept of comparison games into children for the first time, which made this more doable. But why stop there, right? Just look at the endless benefits to it. It's like green tea, which apparently is the cure for everything. Thanks to this pastime, it was the only thing keeping me from doing something out of pocket like starting a cult out of boredom or becoming this guy. And in the recent years, it's become more like crack. So, to reach this goal, the plan was to read 33 books per day, which meant having no life for the next month or so. Mmm, 33 books. You really gone off the deep end. This is when we find the loophole and mix in shorter childhood books, and even audiobooks, which count by the way. No sir, I wasn't gonna be reading the average 200 page book for all 1000 of them. No aneurysms today. The genres I plan to read are listed here. Might as well throw the whole damn library in there. Otherwise, if I was stumped about what to read next, I'd just go on Google recommendations, which was a fat mistake. Like what in the world? These big nuts. An unofficial joke book for Fortniters. How to be black. Danny DeVito coloring book. All right, but besides the last one, why? So I would head over to my nearest library and as soon as I got cozy, the librarians would waltz over to tell me there was a 30 minute time limit for staying there. Why do you stop people from trying to get an edumacation? We are in a panda- I- I don't get paid enough for this. Nancy. 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 What? Clock me out. I'm going home. <coughs> you like that? You like that? I'm obviously kidding, the lady was nice. But eventually I lost track of time and got booted. Surprisingly, Barnes & Nobles was still open, so it became my holy grail and mecca. It just had that wider selection I was looking for. And on other days, I'd remember the old dusty bookshelves I had at home, so I'd end up spending the day reading those too. I'd listen to audiobooks while I was drawing, exercising, driving, programming, shopping, and sleeping. Hey, wait a minute. Gotcha. And when I had no access to books, boom. Thank you, technology. I'd be flipping through digital books from my light bright screen before I went to bed, and I'd repeat that over and over again until I reached my daily book count. I'll be honest, some days I just never wanted to touch a book ever again, but you gotta finish what you start. So I wanted to see this through to the end. I'm making reading books sound like it's an Indiana Jones mission. And before I knew it, it was over. So what did you learn? One, I finally feel qualified enough to watch and understand Rick and Morty like the Reddit elite out there. Two, did you know that if you dig your nose into enough books, you can eventually morph into Facebook? Hey, wait, Google says that's not true. Facebook. It's more concerning you had to Google that. And three, I'm a certified overthinker now. I babble on like a tinfoil hat conspiracy nut nowadays. But in all seriousness, not much has changed since before, but I also unintentionally developed the speed reading skill by the end of it all. I'm telling you, smoke coming out of the pages. Was I actually able to grab the context of what I was reading instead of just speeding through the words? Surprisingly, yes. Would you attempt this challenge again? No, but I am on the road to 10K. Here's a list of some of the books that gets a chef's smooch in case you guys want to check them out too. I'm gonna sound like a pyramid schemer right now, but books are an underrated weapon. If you are into brain deflation, this challenge is for you. There's many concepts and ideas that can't be fully explained in depth through a single Reddit post, video summary, or article alone. They're all the author's life experiences carefully condensed into one piece of text. That's not to say some authors purposely make books 500 pages while saying the same thing over and over again, like a kid trying to reach a word count on the essay. 
right. But they say that if you read 10 books, you live to experience another 10 lives. Now tell me that's not a fire quote. That's nerdy, not fire. Facebook. So if you made it to the end, I have a challenge for you guys. If you got a good eye, you might have spotted these yellow stickers on the back of some of the books I reference in this video. If you can name all 15 of them, both the authors and the titles, not the parody names, send an email at mybookguesses at gmail.com. And for the first 10 people who got them all right, you'll get an email saying you got it. And you'll get to pick from one of these prizes. The pinned comment will let you know whether or not the challenge is still ongoing. Okay, have fun. Bye-bye.